Hey you guys! So today we are looking at this, which is the Mummy Accessory Set. Yes, the Mummy Accessory Set. Um, I was kind of looking forward to this. I'm more looking forward to the Dracula Accessory Set, but that's that's a weird... I don't know, we'll get into that when that comes out, but I think their choice of what to put in that set is decidedly odd. Anyway, here we have Universal Monsters, the Mummy Accessory Set. On the bottom we have all the names and things and said barcodes because I know some of you out there still like the barcodes. On the side we have nice artwork of Boris Kaloff in the sarcophagus. I can say sarcophagus. <laughs> Includes sarcophagus, chest and cardboard backdrop standy the mummy figure sold separately. Oh, okay, guys, so yes, Dandy. Oh, cool. So we have the box, the casket, we have chest. Yeah, well, that is quite a nice. That's the best that figure's looked. I'm, I'm still thinking they should have picked any of the other versions of the mummy, just because to me, them or the mummy. He's only like that for like thirty seconds, maybe even less. But anyway, that's just me being pedantic. So. I don't feel I need to open this one at the bottom because there is just one sticker on it. So we shall move that across there like so and see what is inside. Right. Out it comes. So there's the backdrop, I presume. Nothing else in the box. Nope. Right, so we have the sarcophagus and the chest. I'm not sure about that face on there. But anyway, now the cable ties have obviously not quite stuck on that side, so that's made that a lot easier to get out. We still have the cable ties on the other part though, so oops, drop the stabby things. Right, so there we go, and I don't think there's any on the other box, right. You gotta love that nice. Come on, you want to come out there, really? There we go. Right. There we go. So and box lid. Chest lid, isn't it? Right. So, there's a chest, and I did think that that moved, but it doesn't. He's sealed like so. Like so. That is probably going to be one of those things that you wake up in the middle of the night because it has kind of popped off. It feels like it wants to, that bit, which is supposed to be the seal, is kind of pushing against it. Yeah, kind of wedged in now. But yeah. So yeah, that is the chest, which I think looks pretty cool. On the bottom, let's see if we can focus hieroglyphs. There reads. I can't quite see what the ones are, but the first one is a read. There's a quiz called Only Connect. I watch, and I know that that's the two reads. That's one of the choices on it. Right. So this apparently you can put because it's where it's supposed to go. This chest, which has the papyrus scrolls on the inside, they go in there. That goes on there, that goes in there, and then there we go. Kind of cool. It does have the trademark stuff on the bottom now Universal Studios, NECA, made in China. Yeah. Right, so let's have a look at the, the main, the star of it the sarcophagus. Is there a little bit of a Dust on me on there. Let me see that. Let's turn up a little bit. Right. I'm not sure. Let me just have a look at the box. I'm not sure that face. I don't know. It doesn't look quite right to me. I think it's supposed to look like Boris Karloff. But it doesn't quite. I do like this though. They've got a nice. I painted a model kit of one of these years ago. 
I do like the way they've got that kind of dirty but still shiny look to it. Hmm, well, it's not bad. Bad liners, I should pop open. So on the inside there is uh, kind of dirt on the inside the lid, make it look, which is good because they've made it look used. Dirt on the inside there is also, I don't know if you can see quite in there, there is hieroglyphics on the inside. This looks pretty cool. Hmm. If anybody knows their hieroglyphics, you can tell me what they say. Right, also, the slightly faded there, you know, with the dirt and that, so it's kind of a good effect. Right, so let's see. Now we can either stand him like he's come out of it, or we can. Which is the best way to do it, that way, I think. I popped the head off to try the other head on, and I've never really. Wow, that is stiff. So, I'm going to do it like that. That's clever because the actual, if you push his legs open a little bit, it does kind of hold him, hold him in there. That I kind of like. I just suppose like that. That'll be a good way of displaying it, I suppose. It's made this this figure a little bit more interesting. I don't know. When you look at the the Frankenstein Wolfman and the Dracula that's coming, this does look a little bit. Mm. And it's the first one I haven't bought the black and white version of as well because how much more black and white can it be? But yeah, you can close the sarcophagus with him in the lids. Oh, makes a lot of noise. Yeah, right. So let's see what this backdrop is supposed to be. Or whether this is just a piece of cardboard. Uh, 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 there we go. Let me try not to get the cell tape stuck on it. There we go. And I got it upside down. So we now have that as a backdrop, which will not fit on my shelf over there, I would like to say. Thank you, Necker. He stands in the middle. And yeah, actually, do you know what? That, that is a very, that is a very nice way to display a figure. Put that in there with it. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna have to move my shelves around so he's got a bit more space. So a figure that I was a little bit mm, about has now become quite cool. This figure really should have been in the in the casket. They should have just done this as a set, like a special edition thing. Yeah, it would have it would have it would have sold the figure to me. There's a lot of people out there that are probably going to go, mm, "It's a mummy and it's a bit boring," and not get it. But like that, that is. Cool focus, there we go. So we pan down. And say the chest. And then old emo tap in there himself. Easy much up in this one, isn't it? Because I know in some of the other is car Caris. Oops, there we go. So yeah, I am kind of I am kind of impressed with it. Now I see it like that. Um, I do think. <sighs> so here in the UK, if you're buying an, a a Necker figure from places like Forbidden Planet and things like that, these figures are now fifty quid which works out uh, with the exchange rate to uh, about $60, $70, maybe $80 for a figure, you know, with the exchange rate wise. Uh, so you guys pay $50, but we go the other way. So uh, yeah, it just works out cheaper for me to buy. But then you see, if I buy them from America and ship them over, we get taxed up the yin yang and that's that's their excuse for the action figures being expensive. Action figures are generally getting expensive. 
and this channel is getting very expensive. So please, 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 if you're new here, hit the like, shares and subscribes down there. It all helps, yeah? And there is a tip button down there, which means you can donate to the channel, which also helps the channel. Um, yeah, I am impressed with this. I do like this. I, I was a little bit... Mm, I bought it because I kind of had to get it. My brain would have not let me not have this because I love my Universal Monsters. But yeah, this now, I'm really impressed. I'm still, what's about this weird, I don't even see that. There's like a weird stainy, shiny bit on the front there. And I'm not sure what it is. Whether it's supposed to be there or not. But it's growing on me. It is, gro it is growing on me. I do like I do like the style. I like the fact that they made the inside kind of dirty as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, <sighs> I hate to say, but well done, Mecca. Yeah, well done. So, like I said earlier, if you're new and you haven't hit the subscribe button, if you're a regular here, you know what to do, guys. Come on, you all know what to do. Yeah, hit the like button. The more likes we get. The more this gets pushed, the more it gets seen. Yeah. So, that's it. Thanks, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye now.